on this video we've got uh, the new combine here on Kaler Farms um, walking out through the field now we're gonna go jump in the cab with my uncle John who's running her right now so you can take a look here uh, we're in the same field here you just saw the drone video at we're gonna go look at the new controls inside these combines well, <clears throat> take a look at all the uh, technology that this new combine has in it. If you ever take a tour of the uh, combine harvester plant and uh, John Deere has over in Peoria, you would, uh, or sorry, in Moline, uh, you'll uh, get to see some pretty cool stuff, the assembly of it, and they also let you know there's more controls on these combines today than what's on the space shuttle. So um, as far as computing power and everything else. So we'll go go jump inside of it, take a look at it, and uh, hope you enjoy it. Here's all the controls on the inside of the combine. See that uh, there's obviously a lot of stuff you gotta learn how to run in here. But uh, some of the cool stuff about uh, the combine is just the screen itself here. All of the adjustments and settings. You know, just a few years ago, to make any of these adjustments, you had to get outside the combine, get underneath it, open up the side panels, adjust screens, and all that now can be controlled with the touch of a button. And even it doesn't, uh, doesn't lie while you're going down the field. As you set settings, it monitors the clean grain output. and. Uh, Grain loss and we'll make changes in the screens to update to that. So, uh, and then also it uh, coordinates with the GPS here, so you can see you can see the combine going through the field. And it's uh, recording live data of what the yield is instantaneously throughout the field. So we can go back in, map it, and see where the. Uh, the High yield spots are, or low yield spots are. Uh, so on this pair, you can see the ranges. John's clicked on there. Uh, not that it's bad, but the red is just under 200 bushel an acre, and uh, the high is uh, still 260. And, uh, close that out. You can see where. Yield anywhere between 230 and 250, and we're running down through the field here. Uh, there's some of the grain data. Uh, and then also, was there, was there five cameras on this or six cameras on this? Uh, five. Five? Yeah. yeah. So we got uh, cameras all over the place. There's the hoppers. There's a, it's taking snapshots of the grain as it's running down through the. Uh, uh, clean grain to show you if there's uh, any debris in the grain as it's passing through. Uh, and uh, also something cool here is up on the now out on the road. You can see these uh, feelers are on the head of the combine. In addition to GPS data, these feelers are uh, uh, going up against uh, the corn stalks and helping adjust the steering. So if you look. There's no hands on the steering wheel uh, because the point, you know, John turns it around and uh, once he sets it in the row, we use the GPS data and those feelers to keep the combine running straight down the row. And then uh, all he's doing is he's got his uh, controls there. You can adjust the speed back and forth. And then, uh, so for me, sets ranges so that you basically can set a custom throw on the uh, drive arm there to where you know, he's got set to be around five miles an hour right now so that just the little movements aren't uh, can uh, just do small adjustments in the grain so you can see we're back on mode again and uh, oh there's probably a, about a million other things on this we can go on about all the technology but that's uh, kind of a top level view of some of the cool stuff that's going on. Hopefully you enjoyed.
enjoyed that tour of the John Deere combine. I'm heading out here, but uh, let me know if you got any additional questions about the combine or farming or any other types of uh, technology and farming you'd like to see on future videos. Thanks a lot.